Here's how to map wooden objects with PBR textures in Keyshot. Firstly, you need to split your geometry into grain and end grain. This is because you will need at least two different materials to achieve the effect. You can do this in your modeling software by assigning different appearances to faces before bringing them into Keyshot. Or if your model's already imported, you can do it in here. For the Keyshot method, right click your geometry and click split object surfaces. Now you can simply select the faces to split. If you want to group faces together, for example, two ends of the same board, just hold control as you select them. If you filleted your edges, make sure to decrease the tolerance, otherwise it will select over the fillet. Split as many faces as you need to. Once done, just click apply. Conveniently for us, this will create different material for each split. So all we need to do is drag on our materials and map them. I'm gonna be using Vizune's glued oak from our PBR wood pack, which comes with both grain and end grain materials for Keyshot. With your materials installed, drag the standard material onto the geometry. You can then adjust the scale and direction with the mapping 2D node in the material graph. It's pretty much the same process with the end grain. Just make sure you match the scale of the grain and line up the seams where the wood is glued. You can also copy that onto other pieces which run in the same direction using shift left click to copy and shift right click to paste. Should you need to change the mapping on any other pieces, simply right click and select unlink material. Now you can adjust them independently. And that's it, an easy way to texture your wooden objects in Keyshot. Follow for more quick tips.